Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade functional equation. Remember, in my previous video, which was, I think, two hours ago, I mentioned that I was going to give you a functional equation, and here we go. So, I call this homemade because I kind of came up with the idea, but I'd like to thank my colleagues, especially Dr. Grell, for his assistance and ideas in coming up with these kinds of equations. I'll also share a link down below uh, for the his YouTube channel. So you can check it out. Anyways, we have f of x plus y equals f of x to the power ln f of y. So at this point, you can kind of pause the video if you want or just take some notes and try to guess what kind of function could satisfy this. At least take some notes, make a guess, and then we'll compare our results. Okay? As is this problem looks somewhat intimidating. Why? Let me tell you first why. If you had an equation like f of x plus y equals f of x plus f of y, as you know, this is one of Cauchy's functional equations and fairly easy to solve. Maybe in one of the videos I'm thinking about going over these equations because they're so important. So we don't, we don't have that type of uh, structure, it's not that simple. We have the ln in the exponent, so on and so forth. Or if you had a product, this would also be super easy to solve, or anyways. Or you could have a product here and a sum here, so on and so forth. So there are four cases that are fairly straightforward, and you probably memorized them. Uh, hopefully you did, if you're dealing with functional equations. Anyways, so this is uh, not one of them, but that doesn't mean we cannot do anything about it. Or, that doesn't mean we cannot turn it into one of those forms. That's the main idea of this video. We're going to do something and turn this equation into something manageable. Make sense? That's the whole idea. And how do we do that? Well, if you looked at some of the videos that I made on exponential equations, especially when you have variables in the exponent, what was my thinking? L and both sides. Remember that? If you had something like x to the power ln x equals, I don't know, e squared. Remember, I've been telling you, L and both sides. Bring this down. That's the only way to bring it down. And not only that, it's going to bring an extra ln, so you'll f multiply those together. So that's what we're going to do. The idea is the same. We are going to ln or natural log both sides. Why is it ln not nl? Because I think it's French and it's backwards. Log natural. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and do it and see what happens. So this will basically illustrate a general technique that you can apply to very many situations. That's why I like this idea. So ln f of x plus y equals ln f of x to the power ln f of y. Now remember what I said about the properties of logs. Bring this down, right? And you're going to get the following. ln f of x plus y. By the way, you could use parentheses here if you want because a lot of times, like let's say, you're trying to graph a function with ln on Desmos. Desmos is probably going to bug you for putting the parentheses. It's not going to recognize ln x because it kind of looks like three letters that are multiplied together. This could also mean l times n times x. But with the parentheses, it's kind of more clear. At least that's what they think. Anyways, so I don't always put the parentheses, so bear with me on that. I am lazy. I skip a lot of things. And here I'm going to skip the brackets if you don't mind. So this is what we get after bringing the power down. And take a good look at this equation. I hope you see what I see. Do you see what I see? Okay, let's proceed. I see the ln of two different things being multiplied, and that equals to the ln of something else. But those are related. So here's my thinking. When you see something being repeated, like you see the same type of function over and over with different variables, then you do substitution. That's going to solve the problem. So I'm going to call this something. How about g of x as a different function? And that implies a couple things. 
If this is g of x by definition or by my assumption, then this will be g of y because all you have to do is replace x with y here and you'll get that, you see? And this one will be g of x plus y because again, we replace x with x plus y. That's what we did. Make sense? But take a look at the result. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't this awesome? Again, I'm not bragging about myself, but just the fact that these problems can be solved easily by substitution. And that's why substitution is awesome. Okay? Can't emphasize this enough. So now, we get ourselves a nice Cauchy functional equation. Okay, hopefully you memorized, but if you didn't, that's perfectly fine. There are four cases for these kinds of functions. One of them is the power function, like x to the power k. Another one would be k times the log function, like ln x. Another one would be k to the power x, where it's exponential. And there is a fourth one, which is the linear one. I guess you can write it as kx. There are four cases. They basically work like addition to addition, addition to multiplication, multiplication to addition, and edi multiplication to multiplication. Okay, which one is it? You can test all of these, and you're going to realize the solution is one of these. But which one do you think it is? First of all, start with the power. If g of x is x to the k, then g of x to the y is just going to be x plus y to the k. And is that equal to x to the k times y to the k? No way. This is not going to work. You don't have to do trial and or error here, but I'm just showing you how you can plug in and check if you know the candidates. What about an ln? Okay, let's try it out. g of x plus y is going to be k ln x plus y, but guess what? ln x plus y cannot be broken down, so there's no way it's going to be equal to this. Not a product. So that's not going to work either. Wow. The order I wrote it, hopefully, <laughs> it's probably going to come up later. How about this one? k to the x. Exponential function. g of x plus y is k to the power x plus y by definition. And that can be broken down into k to the x times k to the y. And guess what? This is g of x. This is, this is g of y. And yes, it does work. And this is the answer. And if you try this, you're going to notice that g of x plus y is going to be kx plus y, and that is kx plus ky. This is actually the breakdown for the plus to plus. This doesn't work either, and our solution is going to be the third one, which is this. So that's the solution. k is arbitrary. Well, couldn't we call this e to the power x? Absolutely. You could do that as well. Now let's go ahead and plug it in. So g of x is k to the x, but what is g of x? g of x is ln f of x. Awesome. So now from here we're going to solve for f of x by doing e to the power both sides. e to the power k to the power x equals e to the power ln f of x. And now from here f of x is going to be e to the power k to the power x. Now guess what? Can this be written as something to the power x? That's going to be the most critical part of this. So here's what I like to do. I can basically write this as e to the power k to the power x divided by x and then to the power x. But this is not going to work, right? So I kind of have to leave it at that. So that's going to be our solution. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.